People who come to the festival will get more than food. They'll learn about Texas culture and heritage and what makes Texas, Texas. And clothes like this dry fit material here are good for your body. They pull the sweat away from your skin, transfer to the top of the material where it evaporates and leave your body cool and dry. And remember when you're outside working out on hot days like this, you only want to be out there for about a half an hour at a time. Gas station owners say they lose a lot of money when people don't come in to buy products after they purchase gas. They also say when you pump your gas and use a card, they lose a lot of money. The Syracuse City School District athletic trainer says kids in suburban areas have healthier food choices, wherein his kids in the inner city would rather settle for foods like McDonald's. That's why when students like Anthony's playing days are over, they'll have greater obesity challenges. Officials said that they did this as part of their smoke-free Onondaga County program. They said they can't force people to quit smoking, but not letting them smoke on their property is a big deterrent. 2008 Folklife Festival in Washington, D.C. is underway. Each year, this two-week festival highlights a different state. This year, it's Texas. Visitors on the National Mall will get a chance to enjoy an array of Texas-style cuisine. We've turned the mall into Texas here in Washington, D.C. We're producing massive amounts of hundreds of pounds of beef brisket, pork ribs, a beef sausage that's out of Texas. After eating a plate or two, people can sit down and enjoy music from all over the state. It's very wide ranging. It's a, it's a pretty great sampling of just how rich the music is in the Lone Star State. I hope everyone goes home with realizing we're not all cowboys on horseback. There's some tremendous diversity in the wonderful and great state of Texas. Texas is known for cattle and oil, but the Texans here are making sure people know Texas has a lot more to offer. A lot of people go, I didn't know you could grow grapes in Texas. Well, yeah, we have been for, you know, for years, 40, 50 years. So. Festival visitors say it's almost as good as a trip to the Lone Star State, but some are a little homesick. Well, you know, I love Midland, Odessa. That's one of my favorite places. And for a few days in early July, the rest of the country can sample a bit of the Lone Star State. Price of gas has many Americans searching for different tools to cut their grass. Meet the new mower on the block. No, not that one. This one. Well, it's not that new, and it's been around the block quite a few times. Donna Tarbania uses her mower pretty often and says there are some great qualities about doing things old school. Um, so I just think it's a good way to get exercise and to be sort of more responsible environmentally. In the last year, sales of these real mowers, R-E-E-L, have increased over 80%. Stores say they can barely keep them on their shelves. Some people get antsy because they have to wait for it, but, and some people go elsewhere to see if they can find it. But yeah, there's a bigger demand this year. You don't have to spend money on gas for these mowers, and the price of real mowers is a lot cheaper than motorized mowers. But consumers say there are some drawbacks to using real mowers. I mean, it's, it's time consuming. In the spring, it's a pain. The grass goes rapidly, you know. I mean, it's, you have to change something. You have to allow a lot of time, especially if you have any significant lawn. Stores say they think the trend will die down soon. It would be like uh, gas guzzling cars back quite a few years ago. They started buying small cars. People got used to it. They went back to big cars. I think people are going to not like the work. I think it'll go back down in a short time. Donna says she will enjoy the trend while it lasts because this sound, no, this sound is music to her ears. In 1946, about 140,000 push mowers were sold in the United States. Current sales may not be what they were back then, but it looks like this American tradition could be on the rise.